Hello. Here we are at the end of the line. So we have a knife made in Vanax. You can see all the other testing on it in the Steels of the Future series that I've been doing so far. These are nitrogen steels, this one, and the Z Finite. What I've done, taken this very well performing knife, 680 cuts through rope with a polished 17 degree edge, and I've gone and put a 13 degree edge on it. Uh, 13 was the limit, I didn't want to ugly it up too much because it is not my knife, but thank you very much, Chris. Because Chris had these knives made, um, they're pretty much identical, the Z Finite and the Vanax, pretty much to get tested. And you know, he sent me an email saying, hey, can you do some testing? I've sent one back saying, hey, I thought I'd do this, 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 this kind of testing. He said, cool. So you got to give it to the guy. I mean, that's a pretty, you know, pretty ballsy move. Uh, because these wouldn't have been cheap. And you know, they've definitely, they're, they're, they're used. You know, often people buy expensive knives and never use them. So these ones have been used. And today, they're going to be used So we are cutting rope, twisted sisal, until the knife no longer slices paper. And oh boy does it slice paper right now. It is particularly slicey. These very thin edges last a good long time. And a stable steel like this, well, I'm really interested to see what it does. So let's get into it. Seven hundred and ninety for Vanax, and it is no longer reliably biting in. It always does that. <laughs> it's always say no longer biting in and slicing paper. See, it's rough. It's it was enough while I was doing the test that I couldn't bite in on the parts that I was cutting with. So seven hundred ninety, it stopped. Still not a dull edge at all. Um, it is still very very sharp. It is just not biting into the paper sharp. So I just have some minor you know, mushrooming or whatever it is on the edge that stops it from doing that. But you could still, you could still go an elk with this bad boy, that's for sure. So comparing it to, I think 810 was what M390 did. So definitely the same ballpark in edge retention as M390 at extreme angles. Noting that M390, I reckon, is at a slightly higher rock well on that steel wheel modus as well. This is at 60, remember. This just shows that it's a very, very stable steel. To be able to hold a really thin edge like that for a good long time, um, pretty impressive stuff. Look, this Vanax, it's expensive, and that's what's keeping me from saying that this is probably the best steel going, because cost is definitely a factor and availability. In terms of overall performance, though, uh, it is more rust resistant, I, in my opinion, than M390. It seems to be tough enough to do, you know, small fixed blade and, you know, I'm not sure if you'd still want, want a big chopper made out of this, but um, certainly tough enough to do small fixed blade jobs um, and it holds an edge for a really good long time. So yeah, if you're after a at least moderately tough, almost stain proof steel, almost, because you never know, uh, that will hold its edge for a very good long time. Vanax is pretty hard proposition to beat. But lastly, as is the spirit of these tests, let's see if I can't restore this edge to paper slicing on the Tormek with the strop.
pretty impressive stuff, I believe. So thank you, Chris, for make, uh, getting this knife made and sent to me for testing. Um, thank you for indulging my nerdhood. Uh, I'll try and put this back to a more presentable knife before I send it to you. Um, and Shannon Steel Labs is the maker of these knives. Uh, he likes his exotic steels just like I do. Um, definitely worth checking out. A bit like uh, Mr. Creeley, um, who made my Rex 121. I reckon this, um, I reckon Shannon's definitely open to consulting and seeing what kind of cool steels he can get you. Um, but yeah, these are great little fixed blade knives. I'm pretty sure these were made as more test pieces, but um, even still, I'd be happy with it for sure. Really nice little grip. At no point was my hand uncomfortable doing all this cutting, and I would have cut probably, what, a couple thousand slices of rope with each of these by the end, I'd say. So yeah, very, very cool little knife. Really fits the palm well. Um, lovely little drop point blade, a nice uh, blade lower than you know, getting towards being nice and knuckle high. So very, very cool. Tomorrow I'll do Z Finet. I'm just a bit sore to do it today. My arm's been giving me a bit of shit lately because I'm just doing a bit too much. So have a bit of a rest. Well, I'll do Z Finet and then I'll have a bit of a rest for a, a week or so maybe and then get back to some other cut testings. I'll do some reviews in the meantime. But yes, I hope you've enjoyed guys. Vanax Unleashed to the Max. Total count of the Vanax cuts coming up now.